Welcome to another video with Howard Piano Industries. Before you do any work on your piano, you're going to have to access the parts. So I'm going to show you uh, how uh, the upright pianos uh, come apart uh, so that you can uh, get to uh, the work you need to get to. So most people don't realize that uh, this is very easy. Um, so piano or pianos are made uh, the case parts are put together in such a way that they come apart easily so that the piano technician can access uh, the parts and uh, tune the piano. So most pianos, uh, the top lid uh, is hinged at the back and uh, has some snaps that's holding it down, keeping you from lifting it up too easily. But uh, with a little bit of pressure, you can unsnap the snaps and... Uh, Now you can look down here, and the front panel is almost always held on um, with a couple latches. And you simply have to turn those latches up and pull the front panel straight out. And so there's some little dowels um, that, uh, that, that, are, that are holding the front panel in place, and you just pull them away from those dowels, or sometimes they are pins. So now that you've got the front panel off, you can access the fall board. Uh, the fall board is almost always attached with uh, a screw on each end. Uh, this one, the screw goes into the side of the arm of the piano. This is a Kawhi piano. Sometimes they're uh, slotted screws. This has a Phillips head, but it's usually just one screw on each end that uh, holds this all board in place. And with the fall board out of the way, you have access to the key upstop rail. Uh, this rail keeps the keys from being lifted up off the pins. And if you're going to do any um, work to the key, if you have to repair a broken key, if you want to replace a key top, uh, it's often, well, often necessary to remove the key. So you first have to remove the key upstop rail. With the key upstop rail out of the way, the keys can now easily be lifted up off of the pins. You want to be careful not to uh, enlarge the balance rail hole here on the bottom. So you want to lift the pin, uh, the, the key up uh, as straight as possible. Now the, the one other case part we have uh, that we can remove to service the piano is the bottom board or sometimes called the kick board. This is almost always attached um, or held in place by a spring attached to the key bed and simply by pushing the spring up and pulling the bottom board out uh, you can remove this bottom board, so there is no screws involved at all. Now, it is resting on some dowels here on the bottom, so you lift up to get those off the dowels. And now you have access to the bass strings or, or the pedals. And If you need to replace a string, you're probably going to have to remove the bottom board. So this is 
access enough to uh, tune the piano and, and uh, adjust the pedals. Now, if you have a broken action uh, part or uh, something that you need to remove from the action, um, from here, you can remove a hammer. And on this Kawhi, they're using, again, they're using Phillips head screws, which is a little bit unusual. Um, so it's just a matter of unscrewing the hammer flange screw, and then you'll unattach the bridle wire. And now you have the hammer. If you have to replace a hammer shank or uh, maybe uh, repair uh, a hammer that's uh, coming unglued from the molding, or if you have a tight uh, hammer flange you need to repair, uh, you can access and take out the hammer just with that one screw. Now, if you need to work on a whipping, say you need to repin a whipping flange, uh, or maybe the screw is loose uh, for the whipping, that's going to require uh, removing the action. And again, it's easier than you might think uh, on a console or studio piano. Uh, a spinet is more complicated, but uh, on an old upright or a studio or console piano, it's simply a matter of removing these uh, bolt heads. There's usually three or four on this piano. There's just three. Uh, many pianos have four. Now the only other thing that you have to disconnect are these pedal rods. So uh, they're just sitting on a dowel. So we can take this one off. And uh, the damper pedal rod, you can disengage it from the bottom. So now just pull the action forward to, to clear it from these bolts. And then lift it straight up. Now you have access to the flange screw or the whipping screw, whipping flange screw. And uh, taking that screw off will enable you to remove the whipping. We have to remove the bridle wire. So those, uh, that's how you access the basic parts. Uh, the other assembly here that you might want to access is the damper, and that's just held on by one screw. The damper flange screw. So most pi uh, upright pianos are similar in the way that they're put together, but uh, there are definitely many variations. So we're going to look at a few of the different variations. Um, this old Yamaha upright uh, doesn't have snaps, uh, but it has a hinge lid, so I uh, just fold it back. Now the front panel works the same. There's two latches. The fallboard is a little bit different. This fallboard uh, 
lift straight up off a couple of dowels or kind of a wood slot. But uh, there's no screws involved in this fall board. Uh, then you have two screws for the key upstop rail, just as before, and the bottom board attaches the same with the spring. Okay, we're looking at a Yamaha, and the top uh, comes uh, off the same, the front panel, uh, the same as usual. Uh, but on the fall board, uh, on many Yamahas, there's a little metal clip, and you don't have to take uh, screws out, but you have to push the clip up on each side and then the fallboard comes out. So that's pretty much it as far as uh, you, you can pretty much access anything uh, you need to. Uh, so it's that simple on an upright uh, console or studio. Thanks for watching.